Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for being here today. I'm Jia Qing Wang from the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department at, at Michigan Technological University. And I'd also like to introduce my advisor, Dr. Qing Li Dai, who is a professor in the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department at Michigan Technological University. So today I'm going to present our study on the steel fiber ring first. Um, rubber self-compacting concrete, which is produced with recycled scrub tile rubber aggregate. And this topic is related to what just presented before by Dr. Shi. And first, let's go through the outline of this presentation. Before introducing those research results, the motivations and objectives of this research will be introduced. And then the development and process of the steel fiber ring for the rubber self-compacting concrete will be discussed, which will be separated into five aspects. The mixture design and the fresh performance, the mechanical strength and fracture properties, and finally the freeze out durability. And at last, the conclusions and acknowledgement will be given. So first, let's talk about the motivations and objectives of this study. As we know, there are a considerable amount of waste tires generated every year in the United States. And this number is about 280 millions of tires per year. And those waste tires can cause a lot of risks to our environment. Therefore, um, in recent decades, some studies have used the waste tire rubbers as a replacement of conventional aggregate in concrete materials. But the knowledge in this field is still limited and the rubber can cause some undesirable effects on the mechanical and durability properties of concrete materials. Therefore, the fiber reinforcement method was considered to be used as a method to solve these problems. Also, the self-compacting concrete is popular and suitable for mass structure applications. So in this study, we're trying to use the steel fiber concrete to um, improve the mechanical and durability performance of self-compacting concrete produced with recycled rubber aggregate. So the main objective of this study is to develop the optimized design of steel fiber reinforced rubber self-compacting concrete. The first objective is develop steel fiber reinforced, uh, so, excuse me, develop steel fiber reinforced rubber self compacting concrete um, based on the ex experimental investigation on fresh mechanical and freeze out durability prefer performance. And next, the fracture properties of steel fiber reinforced rubber self compacting concrete will be discussed. And next, I will introduce the mixture design and the materials that we used for producing the SRSCC. So we selected the short street steel fiber as shown in the left side. Um, it has a 13 millimeter lens and its physical properties are shown in the table below. And for the recycled tile rubber aggregate, the mesh size ranges from 10 to 30 was used and its gradation curve is showing on the, on the right side. And we can find from this figure that the rubber aggregate is relatively larger than the normal sand that used in the SCC concrete mixture. And this slide shows you the mixture design of our concrete samples. Besides those SRSCC, we also produced the control sample without rubber and fiber, and also the R-10 sample with only 10% rubber. And as shown in this table, the design fiber content is relatively low, which is only 0.2% based on the total mixture volume. And the cement and silica fuel were used as the bander. 5% of the cement was replaced by by the uh, silica fume uh, based on the weight percentage. And consequently, there are five different types of samples were produced. Um, regarding the mixing procedures for the SCC, we optimized the procedure as showing on the right side. First, the dry mixing with all aggregate for three minutes. 
and our aggregates were prepared to surface saturated dry condition before the mixing. Then half of the tap water with the high range water reducer were added to the mixture for three minutes mixing. Next, the remaining water was added for one minute mixing and rest for one minute, which followed by the final mixing of two minutes. The steel fiber was added at, uh, during the final last two minutes mixing. So next we'll talk about the uh, fresh performance that was affected by the steel fiber and rubber aggregate. So since the self-compacting concrete requires self-consolidating properties, we performed a comprehensive free fresh performance evaluation. At first, we tested the flowability by the slump flow test as shown in figure A. Then the filling ability was tested based on the wave funnel test as shown in figure B. Those results are summarized in this table. So the slump flow and wave funnel were affected with the addition of steel fiber and rubber. And the slump flow was reduced with the increased rubber content. As shown in this table, the second row, the T500 time is related to the viscosity of the fresh mixture. Since the addition of steel fiber and rubber aggregate, the viscosity of the fresh mixture was also increased. At the same time, the v funnel passing time was increased with increasing rubber content. However, the SR10 that prepared with uh, steel fiber and 10% rubber can still meet all requirements restricted for rebar reinforced structure concrete applications, uh, which is a kind of higher standard beyond the normal concrete structures. And this table shows you the passing ability evaluation results. Um, the passing ability was tested by the jarring flow test and U-box test as shown in figure A and figure B. So the difference between the slump flow and the jarring flow are measured as shown in figure A. And the height difference in the U-box test was measured as shown in figure B. The results are summarized in this table. So we can summarize the result that the AD steel fiber and high rubber content can also influence the passing ability. So the recycled rubber content is recommended to be lower or equal to 15% to ensure a good passing ability. And next I will talk about the mechanical strengths of the SRSC samples. So this figure shows you the comprehensive strength test, test results. Um, as shown in this, this figure, um, not like the normal type rubber concrete, uh, the comprehensive strength was slightly reduced with the addition of steel fiber in SCC. And as expected, the strength can be significantly affected by the rubber, the recycled rubber. But as um, the results showing the SR10 and SR15 can still achieve 50 million Pascal uh, compressive strength after 60 days curing, uh, which can be treated as high strength concrete in terms of SCC. And the steel fiber uh, did not improve the compressive strength. However, the steel fiber can slightly improve the split tensile strength as shown in this figure. Um, uh, the SR10 shows the highest split tensile strength among our five different um, sample types. But the increase of rubber content can still reduce the split tensile strength of the SRSCC samples. Next, I will talk about the fracture properties that was evaluated by the fracture test. So as shown in this slide, the uh, fracture fracture test was performed based on the three point bending test on a single edge notched beams. And the notch to depth ratio is 0 0.3 in this study. And from this load versus crack mouse opening displacement curve, uh, we can find out that the 
uh, addition of rubber, rubber aggregate can slightly increase the CMOD at failure when comparing the results between the control and R10 curves. And then with the addition of steel fiber, the post cracking behaviors were uh, obviously improved. And the SR15 showed the highest post crack residual load and the crack mass opening displacement. The flexure strength was also calculated based on the test results. Um, as shown on the left side, the flexure strength can be also reduced with the addition of rubber aggregate. However, with the inclusion of steel fiber, it can slightly compensate the reduction of the flexure strength that caused by the rubber aggregate when we compare the results between the R10 and SR10. Um, however, for the fracture energy as shown on the right side, we can find out that the addition of rubber and steel fiber can both improve the fracture energy. And also the steel fiber can significantly improve the fracture energy of SCC samples. And finally, we can find out that the SR15 showed the highest fracture energy among our five different sample types. So at last, I will talk about the phase-out durability of the SRSEC samples we produced in this study. So we tested the phase-out durability based on the ASTM C666 standard. And uh, this is the relatively dyna dynamic modulus of elasticity we measured after 600 freeze-out cycles. And we can find out that all SSC specimens prepared in this investigation should increase the relative dynamic modulus of elasticity. And the SR25 should the highest value, uh, which may relate to the increased porosity with the addition of rubber. And some later hydration may occur and the polylinic reaction with silica fume. And uh, there is no uh, reduction of the relative dynamic modulus of elasticity was showing here. And also when we look at the length change of those beam samples um, for the freeze out test, we can find out that there is no uh, freeze out damage um, when we compare the test results with the expansion limit of 0.1% required by the ASTM standard. And we can find out that the largest expansion was only 0.033 as shown in the control samples. And regarding those samples with, with addition of rubber aggregate and steel fibers, the expansion was uh, reduced and also some samples showed shrinkage behavior like the uh, SRSC samples with uh, different rubber contents. And from this result, we can uh, verify that the SRSC samples prepared in this study have good freeze out res resistance So then I will introduce the conclusion and acknowledgement of this study. So first, the recommended SAC criteria of fresh performance can be mostly made in those SR SAC materials uh, when we consider the flowability, passing ability, and filling ability, and also the compressive strength of those SR SAC samples can achieve 50 million Pascal when the rubber content is smaller than 25%. Also, the addition of steel fiber can slightly compensate the reduction of splitting tensile strains caused by aided rubber aggregate in SRSCC sample. And the fracture energy in RSCC and SRSCC were all improved with the addition of rubber and steel fibers and also the combination of rubber and steel fiber can have a hybrid positive effect on improving the fracture energy by, compar by comparing with regular SCC samples. And finally, the freeze-out durability performance uh, was uh, 
excellent in those SRSC samples. And this work is uh, partially supported by the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy under the grant number of um, 21745. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, right on time, I really appreciate it. The uh, questions, we have a question here from uh, uh, Matthew uh, Argo, uh, Argos. Uh, he said, hello, uh, are you worried about uh, the sulfur content in the tire? Thanks, great work, he said. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Thank you for your question. And you're, you're talking about sulfur content and that's what we did not consider in this study. And for, for the tail aggregate processing, we actually uh, tried to use some chemical surface treatment. And those surface treatment may help to improve the bonding um, behaviors between the rubber aggregate and the cement matrix. And those actually can like uh, produce our uh, protection layer on those rubber aggregate and the sulfur content and the sulfur in those uh, rubber aggregate may not affect the uh, later behaviors of bonding or other like uh, chemical reactions, those things. But th that's a good thing to consider and to investigate. Thank you.